Hello, my name is Jacob Hiller. I'm the Chief Growth Officer here at Dental Implant Machine. And today I'm here to talk about why there's no such thing as a bad lead. Now, when I say a bad lead, I'm not talking about the robocalls or people who may have given bad information. There will be a small percentage of that that is unavoidable. What I wanna talk about today is people who are seriously considering their options or people who are at least in discomfort and have an interest in, in changing their state and improving their life. Those leads are handled categorically differently by successful and non-successful offices. And I wanna show you how you can be one of the successful ones. We get to have the awesome privilege of working with offices who, you know, we start sending them, them patients who are really at the beginning at, at different stages in their treatment journey. And we get to watch them as they open a new office and they do a million in production in their first month. And they open another office and they're still able to hit a million in production. We get to watch other offices who will produce the same, the same patient on that same patient journey. And what we'll hear is, is that patient is just not ready or these leads really just aren't good. And it's amazing because, you know, having worked with hundreds of offices, we get to see what's actually the common denominator. What's happening between a hyper successful office who gets to our two comma club membership and, and those who just seem to flounder. And I think if you can internalize these points and really just understand the impact that this can have on your office, on your income, and on these patients' outcomes. And the first thing is that there's more opportunity at the beginning of a patient's journey than at the end. You know, we've all had these patients who come in and they're ready. You know, they've looked at the price. They know what type of treatment they want. They've been going through this for years and they're just ready. They're going to get treatment from you no matter what right? You need to worry less about those people. They're going to get treatment from you if you mess it up or not. They're ready. They've selected you. They've looked at your reviews. They've been referred by a happy customer and they're ready to find out, hey, is there a treatment out there for me? What's it going to cost me? Is this going to be an option for me? Who could do it? You know, they have all these questions. Well, that top of the funnel is really the beginning of a patient journey. I'm in discomfort. I'm in shame. And, you know, for dental implants, it's a special type of treatment. It's super impactful. And so people are very serious about each step in the patient journey. It's not just another hygiene checkup, right? You have these patients who start their journey and they pick up the phone and they work through their anxiety, they work through their fears and they fill out an evaluation and they say, hey, I need to figure out what's my next step. Well, that lead, you know, we call them in the marketing world leads, but really it's a patient and they're in the process of reaching an outcome. Now, let's say that patient calls in they fill out an evaluation. The difference between a good lead and a bad lead can be 15 minutes at this point. You know, we recommend that you call these patients back within five minutes. But if you wait 15 minutes, an hour, a day, 24 hours, 48 hours, that patient is an active pursuit of a solution. If the phone wasn't picked up or they weren't called back and hours later, they've already booked with another office to go in and get a scan, they're not gonna return your phone call. And you're gonna say, they're not picking up the phone. That's a bad lead. Well, that's not a bad lead. That's somebody who's already checked the box of, I'm gonna find out what my options are, right? They're not gonna go find out their options from five different offices. They're gonna find out their options from the office that first connects, understands, and shows them the next step, right? And if that's not you, the difference can be 15 minutes, can be five minutes. You need to do, the best you can do and you can't beat yourself up when that occasionally happens if they if they call another office within five minutes but what you do need to understand is if you want to maximize your return and you want to help as many patients as possible the offices who are crushing it they are taking into consideration the importance of connecting early with these patients who have finally raised their hands right they didn't wake up today and realize oh i might need dental implants no they've been dealing with this every day that they wake up and look in the mirror or avoid the mirror, and they're finally having the courage to do it. So the offices that understand, hey, this nurturing that patient journey from the moment they raise their hand and being their guide from that point on is gonna maximize the quality and, and your opportunity to assist them in that patient journey. So the second thing is, maybe they're not ready. And you gotta realize that you gotta have a nurture process. If, if, if you're not able to connect with them immediately, there needs to be automation in place. 
There needs to be systemized follow-up. And when we work with an office, we give them that nurture. You know, we're, we're automatically following up with texts, following up with emails and prompting the office, hey, now it's time to check up and see if they're ready. So, you know, th these are human beings. They may have taken an opportunity to call and fill out an evaluation form, and now they're busy. Now they got kids' ball games, they got things to do at work, you know, things to do with their spouse. And it doesn't mean that they're not interested. It just means that you have to stick with that nurture process until they're ready to engage again. You have to have a nurture process in place and you have to follow it. If you skip it, once again, you miss an opportunity to connect with that patient. And the third thing is we have to stop pushing these patients away. If they call the office and they say, yeah, I'm interested in dental implants and say, yeah, well, that's $40,000. They're probably just going to hang up the phone and be like, wow, <laughs> wasn't expecting that, right? Because they weren't ready. You know, they weren't ready for this to be not covered by insurance or they weren't ready for the sticker shock of this is going to be more than my car. So we have to be trained. We have to go through the training and figure out how to how to help these people make the right decision. They may be shocked initially by the price tag on, on this massive change for their life, but that's just an initial shock. If we can help them find the right verbiage, find the way to connect with them so that they realize that getting dental implants is potentially going to be one of the most impactful things. And if we don't believe that as schedulers or treatment coordinators, if we don't truly believe that, if we haven't seen the discomfort that causes the anxiety in relationships and our families that, that that's causing them, we can't believe that. And so if we don't believe it, we're just going to be pushing them away. We're going to be stuck on the price. We're going to be thinking, gosh, that's a lot. And not realize that this could be one of the best things this patient has ever done. So I highly recommend that, you know, we, we have these training and processes so we know how to handle the price objection. We know how to bring in price, talk about price and help them to make an informed decision without initially just getting scared away by seeing a price tag. And, you know, you could call it salesmanship or you could call it just, you know, healthy communicating about the benefits and the costs of, of this type of treatment. So if I could, if I give you one takeaway here, it's just to realize that there's a huge, huge opportunity for offices that nurture the patient journey from the very beginning, because there's a whole lot more people starting down this journey who won't make it unless they find a guide. There's a whole lot more people there than there is people who come to your office and say, hey, yeah, I'm ready. I've already saved my money. Here it is. I've already chose you guys. Oh, that's a good patient. Well, that's that's your that, that's your golden patient and you're not always going to get those but if you learn how to nurture people who are early in that process suddenly you will have unlocked a new source of revenue a new source of predictable patients in your practice so i hope this helps you and i look forward to seeing you in the future